Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to create fully procedural realistic planets using Blender. It's also better to mention that I put the download link of the project files in the description and you can download them for free. Well, first delete this light, go to render properties and switch to cycle. And we don't really need 4000 samples, I changed that to 64. Select the cube and go to edit mode. Right click and subdivide the cube. Set the number of cuts to 100. Then press Shift Alt S and move your mouse. I usually use this method instead of using UV sphere when making planets. Now set the scale of this object to 10, then right click and click Shade Odo Smooth. Go to render mode and set the background color to black. Then add the sunlight and increase its strength. Now select the object and go to the shader editor section. Add a noise texture, then press Ctrl T to add these two notes. Of course, if nothing happens, you should go to Edit, Preferences and activate the Node Wrangler add-on. Also, with the help of this add-on, we can press Ctrl Shift Left Click on any node we want to, to see what that particular node is doing. We should play with the settings of this noise texture. I usually just increase the detail and roughness, but we can also change the scale or distortion to achieve the desired result. Add a mix node and connect the result to the vector. Connect the object to the A socket, then add another noise texture and connect the factor to the B socket. Change the noise texture type to rigid multifractal increase detail and roughness and this one is very important change the offset to 0.9 and increase the gain now you can see that we have created a suitable texture for the surface of our planet I also like set the mix color factor to 0.25 which I think gives me the best result. And now add a color ramp and place it here. Then add colors to the surface of the planet by changing the color of the color stops and adding new colors. When you are done, connect color to base color and connect BSDF to surface. Press Ctrl Shift D to duplicate this color ramp and set the saturation of all color stops to zero. Now we need to connect color to roughness. The closer the cl color stops are to black, the more reflective surfaces you will have. And the closer the color stop is to white, the rougher the surface. We also need to add an invert color node and connect it to the specular. Finally, add a bump node, connect color to height, set the strength to 0.04 and then connect normal to normal. Now I want to create the clouds. So press Shift D to duplicate the object and change its scale to 10.015. Delete all nodes, expect material output and add a volume scatter node. Add 
add a noise texture then press ctrl t to have these two texture coordinate and mapping nodes we also need a color ramp and now set the noise texture scale to 2.5 increase deta increase detail to 10 and also increase roughness Duplicate these four nodes. This time we'll, we'll use the object coordinate. I also set the scale back to 5. Finally, add a mass node and place it here and connect the color to the value. We also have to play with the node settings to get the desired result. Add another noise texture, add a mask node, connect, connect vector to vector, add a color ramp, set the scale to 3, change the distortion to 1 and increase the detail to 10. Set this to subtract and connect this color ramp to this socket and connect this color ramp to this socket duplicate the mask node connect value to value also play with these settings a bit duplicate the mask node change this to multiply and set the value number to a very large number like 500 or 1000 and finally connect the value to density now i want to create an atmosphere for our planet so press shift d and duplicate this object now as before delete all these nodes expect material output and create a volume scatter and connect volume to volume set the density to 8 and change the volume scatter color to a bluish color add an add shader add a volume absorption set the density to 5 and change its color to a yellowish color and Connect volume to the shader. Well, this is not bad. We need to go to the material properties section and from the settings section, set the step rate to 0.1. This makes our volumetric, volumetric shaders have much better quality, but you should also make sure to go to render properties and set the volume separate to 0.1 from the volume section i change this to 128 and also turn on this transparent checkbox here i'll tell you why later so now i just set up my camera and render the scene Oh, before I render, I need to fix a few things. First, I need to increase the noise texture detail so that the clouds look more natural. And second, you can see that we created the atmosphere, but it has no effect on the planet. So I change the atmosphere scale to 10.025 and now let's render this scene. Now let's go to the compositing section. 
Activate the use not checkbox here. Then you can press Ctrl Shift left click to see your render here. If you have looked at the pictures of the planets, you will see that their edge doesn't cut off and the atmosphere slowly fades away. Unfortunately, I don't know how to say it very well with words, but you'll understand now. Add an alpha over node, set this color to black. Add another alpha over node, connect image to image. Add a blur node, then connect this to this and connect this to this. Then activate this relative checkbox and slightly increase the blur on the y-axis. We can also use the color balance node to control the color of this. In fact, this was the reason we made the background transparent. Well guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.